Greetings fellow 6502ers. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you what I'm working on presently. It's a new clock system for my 6502 build. A brief overview. Uh, I've uh, built a breadboard uh, system in the past. Uh, actually two versions. Borderline 3. Uh, since then I've created two PCBs. Version 1 it's breadboard friendly and RC6502 bus compatible. The uh, second version is a 100 millimeter squared uh, board made to be sandwiched together. Um, I got a video card, I have a sound card and a peripheral card. Unfortunately, version 2 has issues with the clock. For some reason, when I probe it with my scope, Everything works, otherwise it crashes for some reason. I don't know why exactly. And I've had some, some uh, people on uh, the forums help me out. Um, but, you know, I'm going to redo the clock module and that's what I'm going to do today. Now, here's the plan. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, actually a reset circuitry which actually waits for two clock cycles before doing the actual reset. There's a slow clock, fast clock, pulse clock, and uh, selector switches, and all this is combined into a multiplexer. Now for the build. Very simple, and I designed it so that it fits into only one row. I didn't want it to bleed through a second row of breadboard. Actually, I started to do a few versions um, and it started to bleed through row number three if I wanted to do the perfect clock. I'm not going to do the perfect clock.
That's it. Everything works. I've tested every module individually as I built it to make sure that it works. 
and had a few bugs, a uh, few wires misplaced, but all in all, everything seems to be perfect. Now, the next episode will be to build the 6502 with bus buffers. Why bus buffers? Uh, vias, a ACIAs, I had um, uh, the P two PSGs, actually three PSGs, which is the AY38910. I had the TMS 991A, uh, NVRAM. I had a lot of uh, peripherals on the bus. So, and some of them are NMOS and uh, CPU is CMOS. So having a bus buffer will help towards that. Well, I hope. Oh yeah, and I had an LCD which was bus driven also. And as soon as I plugged in the PSGs, I started to have bugs on the LCD. The rest seemed to work. That's the thing, it seemed. But uh, yeah, I'll have to monitor my timings a bit more closely. See you next time.